There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, a boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, chromium, lithium, beryllium, and barium. Welcome to another past HSC exam question videos. In this video, we're going to cover this past HSC exam question, which comes from the ethylene and addition polymer chapter. What I'll do in a second, I'll read the actual question. Once I read the question, you have about five seconds to pause the video. Once you've paused the video, attempt the question. And then when you're ready, press play and I'll go over the actual answer itself. So I read the question. It says, the structure of two commercially significant monomers are shown below. This one here and this one here. A, identify the common name of one of the monomers. That's worth one mark. B, the uses of polymers are dependent on their properties. Discuss the statement with reference to a polymer made from one of the above monomers. That's worth three marks. And C, draw the structure of a polymer made from one of the above monomers. That's worth one mark. So when you're ready, press play, uh, press pause, and then attempt the question, and press play when you're ready again. Welcome back. Uh, so for the first part, because it says identify, that just means we have to name. So it's a quite straightforward question. All we have to do is name one of the monomers above and you could have and also important part here is it says common names so there are, we have the systematic name and the common name the common name is just what we refer to in general use and you could have said this one here was vinyl chloride that's his common name and this one is styrene now make sure you don't say polystyrene or polyvalent chloride. So PVC, which is polyvalent chloride, would have been wrong for this answer. Same as with PS, polystyrene, that it will also be wrong. These are the polymers, not the monomers. The monomers are vinyl chloride and styrene. So I wrote the monomer on the left, this one here, is known as vinyl chloride. I only had to give one in my answer. And for saying that, you get one mark. So one out of one. Now the second part is the uses of polymers are dependent on their properties. Discuss this statement with reference to a polymer made from one of the above monomers. And again, it says one of the above. So we have in this case we have to say is that statement true or false? And if it's true, we have to discuss it in terms of the reference as well. So we give a reference to one of the above. So what I basically said is yeah, first I, I looked at the statement and said yep, it's true. It is true. Then I chose the, the monomer, which was, I, we'll talk about vinyl chloride in this one. I talked about some of the properties it has, such as the fact that it's chemical resistant because of that chlorine group. And then I talked about the actual uses and how the uses are related to properties. And that gives me my three marks. So I'll start the first statement. The above statement is correct. Polymers have uses that are related to their properties. Good. Um, second part I wrote is vinyl chloride has a chlorine attached to its hydrocarbon chain. And the hydrocarbon chain is just the rest of its, its body. This chlorine makes the polymer resistant to chemical attack. This was its property. Chemical resistance. And then I laid up that resistance to its use. PVC which is polyvalent chloride, is used for pipes and tubes as they're exposed to high amounts of chemicals on a daily basis. So by having it chemical resistant, we can make sure that they can survive these high amounts of chemical that they're exposed to on a daily basis. So that was one of the uses. But then I also I just, just generally discussed what these plasticizers are and what they can do. And if you remember with PVC, we can add these plasticizers. So I wrote plasticizers are also added to change the properties of PVC to further increase its usefulness. So here I've said, yep, the statement was correct. Polymers, the, the, the properties are dependent on their uses. And with plasticizers, we can even further change the properties and give it even more uses. So then I just gave a couple of different uses. This was the plasticizer we only use mostly for this vinyl chloride. We don't use that much for styrene. Um, PVC can be made more flexible 
to allow tubes and pipes to be formed. So, so that was the property would be higher flexibility if we add those plasticizers. And the use would be it allows us to make tubes and pipes. And it can also be made water and heat resistant. And if you remember, PVC was also used for stuff like raincoats and the like. And the reason why is because water resistance, obviously, we can use it in raincoats. And it's also chemical resistance, which is good as well. So here we've tackled that issue, that statement, discuss the statement of reference to polymer made from the above monomers. We first said it's correct. So saying that statement itself is correct just gives you a mark. Then we gave examples. We gave examples of some of the properties that polyvinyl chloride has, such as chemical resistance, flexibility, and such. And that gets you mark, especially if you have if you name the, some of the properties and compare those properties to, to its uses to underline the initial statement. So the uses were for piping and such, and we also discussed why because pipes have to be exposed to high amounts of chemicals, and our polyvinyl chloride pipes are chemical resistant. So three out of three for that. We did everything we needed to. The last one is draw the structural polymer made from one of the above monomers. Again, make sure you don't draw, draw both, just one. I chose another chloride, but you could have chosen a different one as well. And what I gave in the answer was this. This is the actual drawing. So originally it's like so. H2C double bond. C H and then C L and all the, the for the drawing part all you have to do is you have to break that double bond. So you, the first part I did to get to this structure was break the double bond. So now there's one single bond connecting. The rest is still the same. But to make sure that because this is a monomer here, this is the monomer, but we want to have it be a polymer because we have to form polymers. And to make it a polymer, we have to have these brackets in between and then still connect these. This just means that we have this here repeating n times and n is whatever the number. So for example, we, if we, n is a thousand, that means we have a thousand of these connected n by n, which is indicated by this here, which is n by n, to form these poly, polyvinyl chloride monomers, uh, polymers. And where does this question come from? They come from these stop stop points. So identify the commercial significant monomers of vinyl chloride and styrene by both their systematic and common name. The question here, the first one, identify the common name of one of the monomers. Didn't ask us for the systematic name. Doesn't matter. They just ask us for the common name. But that's where this question came from. And the other one was describe the uses of the polymers made from the above monomers in terms of the properties. So here the, the uses, we had to discuss the uses and the questions and how they relate to the properties that came from that dot point. So hopefully this video was useful. Thank you for watching.